Alexandria Sarah and it is week two of coronavirus panic. So I wanted to send out an email to all my clients, followers, and contacts so that you guys know what's going on from a legal perspective here in El Paso. So the first thing we want to talk about is court closures. Jury duty has been canceled for this foreseeable future, so there's not going to be any trials in March and the early part of April. So that's for district courts, county courts, and the municipal court. Bet you didn't know you could have a jury trial on a traffic ticket. But those are all canceled. If you're unsure, either call, but due to call volume at all of these courts, it's easier just to look it up online. The online system will tell you whether or not you need to report. So that is all canceled. Now, as far as court proceedings go, most of the JP courts are closed or at least not having hearings. And then district courts and county courts, that would be for felony offenses or misdemeanor offenses, are operating on a very, very limited schedule with judges rotating in and out holding hearings. And those hearings are only for inmates because there's due process concerns with having inmates jailed without hearings. The jail court for bond hearings is also open, but it's very, very limited to those that are in custody. Now, municipal court is kind of a different story. Everything at Overland is canceled, but they still have clerks and people processing paperwork. Now, if you have an arraignment in the next few days or weeks, you still have to report to Dyer to plead guilty or not guilty. So you need to be aware of that. Even though downtown municipal is closed, up in the Northeast, it's still open. Now you can take care of some of these matters online. You can hire an attorney to fight those tickets so you never have to go to court. And you can hire that attorney, for example, my company, Traffic Tickets 915, completely online or over the phone. Now the second thing that I wanna to talk to you about is the fact that your legal problems aren't going away. So I've seen attorneys adapting to this new situation and dealing with clients online. I myself have started Skype interviews and consultations so that you can have a face-to-face -face with an attorney to deal with your criminal and ticket legal problems. Some family law attorneys are also doing the same thing. So we're making ourselves available through Instagram, Zoom, Skype. So just let us know what would work for you. The other thing is there's all kinds of problems you can take care of online. The first would be those traffic tickets and warrants, okay? You can either go to the municipal court website, which I say don't do, it's too expensive, or you could come to us and we could do it online. The other thing is this is the perfect time to clear your record. Now, expunctions and non-disclosures initially are a 100% online thing. You can talk to an attorney, have them fill out the petition, sign the paperwork, et cetera, on your behalf and file it with the courts. That starts the clock ticking. You're entitled to a hearing in about 30 days and when the judge grants your expunction, it will be wiped from your record. Now, if you've pled to deferred probation in the past and successfully completed it, you can get a non-disclosure. So now that you have time, you're sitting at home, you're saying, man, I was stupid one time when I was 17 and got caught with marijuana and that case was dismissed. Get the process going so you have a clean record as soon as possible. And finally, know that Texas Penal Code 12.5 is in place. Why does this matter? Well, because there is an emergency or disaster area declared in El Paso County and in Texas, if crimes are committed in that area, it goes to the next higher level of punishment. And I want to warn you about that for a couple reasons. The first is because a lot of misdemeanors, for example, assaults, assault family violence, some forms of criminal trespass are going to end up being felonies. And assault family violence is something that might occur when everybody steps together in a house. Now, a regular assault family violence or even an assault bodily injury is a misdemeanor, but let's say it happens during a disaster zone declaration, it goes up to a felony. And you're probably saying, okay, fine, Alex, I'm not gonna smack my wife or hit my boyfriend. Well. Remember, assault family violence doesn't only mean intimate partners, it also could be brother on brother, 
mother on son over 17. So be mindful of that because people are gonna end up charged with felonies. The other thing is criminal trespass. Don't be running around trespassing on buildings and certainly, certainly not other people's property because in certain situations that could be a felony or you might get caught by the police and taken into jail to be exposed to who knows what. So don't be stupid. Understand that this section of the code is in play and keep yourself safe. Stay home.